out, Kirk. Oh, sure, but, uh... The guy who normally does this is out with frostbite. Okay, well, what do you need me to do? You'll love it. You don't even have to go on the ice. We want you to be our DJ. But I'm the host. Isn't it terrific? Now you can be a part of the show, too. But this is my show. Ta-da! All right, I'll give it a try. Guppies and other money-bearing forms of flora and fauna. This is your Easy DJ, coolest Kirk on the radio, ICE, playing all the hits. Now, we've been keeping them on ice for you, if you catch the drip. And now it's time to slide them to you high, wide, and consecutive. Tonight, a special tribute to a group that's so fast, so speedy, so powerful, and taking off so high, so rapidly, that they can only... Ah, oh, no, I couldn't. I'm the host. I have to check up on everybody. But now you're the DJ. Well, in that case, let's you and me peel back the wax, hit the timbers, cut the rug, punish the parquet, and otherwise boogie till we have boogie beyond the valley of the boogie. If you sense my direction, make it real, my dear. Yeah! That was sensational Tom Dixon. Now, he really helped you. Hey, 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 make it real. Now it's time for us to get up, get down, get sideways, and otherwise unreal as the Jets rock it to you. Great, what do you want to hear next? I do you. Turn in all my love. The only dance. You got it all. Tigger and Bunny, they like this <laughs> We'll never make it. Let's just jet on with Cross My Broken Heart. Cross my broken heart for you. But they told me you're the host. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, right. I'm the host. Yeah. Good. I heard the Jets were here, and we really love them. Do you think they'd let us sing with them? We really want to. I think a 300-pound raisin can do anything he wants to. Did the Jets know your song? Oh, everybody knows our song. Beautiful and romantic moments of any Winter Olympics is when the ice dancers take to the rink. Now, Colin and Molly Beatty are two grand champions at ice dancing, and they know just how it's supposed to be done. It really doesn't get any better than this. Direct from England, the Beatties. Mr. Cameron, one moment. Yeah. Sorry about what happened out there. That's okay. I can't think what happened. We rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. I rehearsed and rehearsed. You stayed home and read the sports page. Is that any way to talk in front of these people? Let me just mediate here for a minute. All right, now, you both gave us a very valuable lesson. I mean, you've shown us what happens in ice dancing when everything goes wrong. Now we're going to get a chance to see what happens when everything goes right, because we're going to see the Carruthers. Peter and Kitty Crothers, now they are good. Yeah, good, they're terrific. They've won four national championships and a silver Olympic medal. You don't have to rub it in. I was merely mentioning it. Okay, let's just go watch the skating, all right? Listen to me, I'm the host. of the Ice Capades. Now listen to this. These are just some of the awards she's won. Three-time Canadian national champion, Olympic silver medalist, world silver medalist, Olympic freestyle champion, Girl most likely to win uh, Winter Carnival Queen. Sharpest skates in the senior class. Best blueberry muffins at the fair. Oh, wait a minute, who puts these programs together? This is very weird. Is there an usher I can talk to? That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. This is Elizabeth Manley. She's a Canadian champion. She's a world and Olympic silver medalist. But what I still can't get over is you are just so glamorous. I mean, you could just skate right off this ice and right into the movies. Well, I'd have to give that some thought. But you know, I wouldn't be alone. There's been a lot of movie stars that have appeared on ice. Oh, yeah? Like who? The first was Lillian Gish in a movie called Way Down East. Mm -hmm. She didn't exactly skate. She just kind of jumped from one piece of ice to another. Oh, was that her act? Well, you see, the river was frozen. She just didn't want to go down the waterfall. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that one. That was a silent film, right? Yeah, and when movies finally got words and music, there was no stopping the... How can I put it? Oh, uh, the Hollywood love affair with ice? If you insist. Oh, I do, Elizabeth. And the love affair is getting bigger. And bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just checking up on everyone. You kind of have to. I mean, I picture people like Johnny Carson and Oprah Winfrey checking up on everybody. After all, it's their show, right? You know, if you don't look out for yourself, then, um, nobody will. Everything okay? Great. Hey, uh, wait, wait a minute. You're, you're Debbie Thomas, right? Yeah. I've seen you someplace, too. Yeah, I'm, uh, Kirk Cameron, host of the show. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've heard to watch out for you. By the way, are you ready? Ah, uh, well, it's a good thing I checked. You didn't put on your skates. Uh, that's because I'm not on the ice. Yeah, but you will be in, uh, in a few minutes. 
I'll, I'll be ready. I promise. I'll put them on when I get on the ice. You promise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Chill out. Yeah. It's a nice show. Chill out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wish they never tell Oprah to chill out. Well, either the ice is on fire, they're making more ice cubes for Fatima, or it's time for the scarecrows. Anyone for popcorn? I just don't understand this next item in the program, though. Um, I mean, I, I've seen lots of things on ice. I've seen dragons, I've seen battleships. But I've never seen a Smurf on ice. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Uh, uh, actually, um... I couldn't help but over here. Over here? Like, where did you come from? Oh, hey, you know, <laughs> wait a minute, you're Elise Beasley from Moonlighting. Never mind that, now we've got bigger fish to fry. You've never seen a Smurf. Oh boy, do you have a treat in store for you. Smurfs are magical, mystical creatures, which you will find out the moment that you have a child. Wait a minute, I hardly even know you. Fortunately, I don't think we have to wait that long because it's Papa Smurf himself, and he's painting a portrait of the whole Smurf village. Now, do they, uh... Shh. Papa Smurf speaks. A little. Ooh, I'm glad I asked. Now, what you must do, my dear, is stay here and keep watch. I hope you're following this. If you see the Smurf a rock, tell us where it is. Or if you see any witches or cats or things, just give a yell. We're gonna find the Smurf a rock. We're gonna find the Smurf a rock. We'll keep searching high and low. Hey, how'd you do that? Oh, it's nothing. You just have to believe and be pure of heart and think good thoughts. I wonder if it's too late to run for office. All right, everyone put on your crash helmets. Hey, where are they? Come on, put on your crash helmets. Look, this is the dangerous, death-defying, ulcer-inducing moment of the show. Is there gonna be a hockey match? No, there's gonna be Steve Taylor, and he's gonna do something that you won't believe. Does he do magic? Uh, sort of. Does he do stunts? Yes. Does he wear a crash helmet? No. Then why do I have to? Ah, uh, I wish I could do some of the tricks he does. the game section. I was hoping we'd get some sort of sporting event going here. I figure hockey. Chess? Oh, I never figured that. Um, well, I guess chess players can be as interesting as hockey players. Perhaps even more so. I wonder what his first move is going to be. She doesn't seem impressed. Hmm, she seems to have a strategy. This could get serious. Oh, don't move him. He's your MVP. Ah, trapped already. Gee, this game is larger than life. I don't care what anybody says. I'll put chess up there with hockey any day. Okay, we've seen the ice dancers. We've jumped through the hoop of fire. We've seen the dog dance on the ice, and Fatima's ice cubes have melted. So all that's missing is the big finish.
Well, as my last official duty as host, I just want to say to the entire cast, you guys were fantastic. I mean, we did everything that I hoped we could do. There is nothing left to do. I mean, what could we possibly do that we haven't already done? All right, you got me. We forgot the flying number. Okay, you can come down now. Hey, look, it's the ice cafes, not the sky cafes. Hey, I'm still the host, you know. I got 15 more seconds of hosting here. Hey. Good night, everybody. The Ice Capades with Kurt Cameron. Brought to you by Head & Shoulders, because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Pringles Potato Chips, now in nine delicious varieties. Toraseptic for fast relief of sore throat pain. Toraseptic is fast relief. An improved Ultra Pampers Plus, because healthy skin begins with dry skin. Travel provided by Northwest Airlines. Continuing its commitment to comfort with a smoke-free environment on all North American flights. Look to us, Northwest. Later tonight on Nightline, Wall Street survives the year without a repeat of the crash of 87. But what is there to prevent the market from crashing again? This is Joan London. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, ring in the new year with Dick Clark as he...